Putrajaya is planning to spend some 130 billion ringgit on infrastructure to support economic expansion. A chunk of this will go into improving coverage, quality and affordability of digital infrastructure. Among its aims are ensuring that 95% of the country's populated areas have access to broadband. Fixed broadband cost is also going to be lower. We are talking about 1% of gross national income per capita. Also in the works, an integrated need-based transport system. That includes upping public transport model share in Greater Kuala Lumpur and the Klang Valley from some 17% in 2014 to 40% by 2020. Focus will also be given to rural and rural-urban connectivity. That means upgraded routes and lots of new paved rural roads. The government also wants to encourage the use of sustainable energy. Cleaner fuels in store with Euro 4M RON 95 petrol and diesel with Euro 5 standards. There's also the B15 biodiesel program. And 28 billion ringgit will be spent on new power plants to meet the growing peak demand. Efficient logistics and trade spell competitiveness and jobs. So by 2020, Putrajaya aims to achieve an annual growth of 8.5% for the transport and storage subsector. That's nearly 150,000 jobs. Next up, access to clean water and sewerage via the new water services industry framework. 10 billion ringgit will be channeled into ensuring that more rural areas have access to clean and treated water. There'll be more connected sewerage services and less individual septic tanks.